Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up a tune shader in Blender. Now, there will be multiple ways for multiple situations, so don't forget to check down in the timestamps on which part you want to work on. And without further ado, let's begin. Okay, to begin, I'll be showing you guys how to do like a simple material and also the outline, and then we'll move on to the texture. So, okay. So here I have uh, Suzanne the monkey. Uh, you can use whatever model you want. I'm just going to use Susan because it's convenient. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to shading right here at the top. And simply, we're going to press new to add this uh, new material. And first, what we're going to do is we want to change like this shader into a color because that is more like into the 2D kind of style. You'll, you'll see in a moment. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add a search and then go to shader to RGB. So this is like a converter. It converts a shader into a color like this. And afterwards, you want to add a color ramp, which is also a converter type. Now, what a color ramp does is, is it allows you to kind of adjust the ratios of like shadows and stuff like as you can see like this you can adjust the amounts of shadows and stuff and what how this works is if you switch from linear to constant right here you get this you know effect where it's kind of like 2d now if we didn't have this uh, shader to rgb if you switch it to this, uh, to switch it to this, it just doesn't work because um, shaders and factors don't work together. So we need to kind of convert this, as you can see. I wouldn't say you need to completely understand this, but I think at least you get the flow of how to how it kind of goes, and it's a pretty simple setup. So as long as you kind of know how to do this, I think you're good to go. And you can kind of adjust this color ramp to whatever you want. You can add more colors in between. And you can click down here to change the colors of the gradient. Or so it's like that, as you can see. So um, yeah, you can change the colors and adjust stuff like this. So it's pretty good. OK, so now for the outline, there's actually a lot of ways you could go to do this. Now I'm going to show you three but I think uh, the last one is the best and it's pretty much the most popular one. So um, yeah. Now the, the first one is pretty simple. Let's go to camera view. Oh I don't have a camera. Okay hold on. Let me add a camera first. So simply what you're going to do is you're going to go to the render settings right here. Render properties. And you're going to scroll all the way down to uh, freestyle freestyle right here and you just gotta click it and um, you're not gonna see its effects or anything the, you're, you're only gonna see it when you're in the, you're, you render it so as you can see there's like a outline right here like this right here which is pretty good um, yeah I think the only downside of this is you can't really preview it in the viewport so, yeah and you can basically adjust the thickness of the outline right here line thickness okay so that's the first option and now the second option let me uncheck this you'll press sh uh, you'll press shift a to add a let's see grease pencil right here and you're going to add a stroke and let's move the stroke out of the camera view because yeah and you're gonna go to the modifiers add modifier and you want to choose the line art right here and then you want to just select like the collection if you're using a source type as a collection or an object and you can like select you know Suzanne the monkey the Suzanne the monkey right here it's up to you on how you want to select it, but in the end you want to uh, set a layers to colors and then add a material as black. 
And once you've done that, you'll see you have a pretty nice um, outline like this as well. Now, the only downside of this uh, is it's apparently like only visible, like it only works from the camera view. If you move away or anything, uh, the outline wouldn't be present from that view. So it's more of like kind of the same thing as what we did earlier with the camera, wh where you can only see it when you've rendered it. This as well, you can only see it through the camera. And I think it's not that great. I mean, maybe if you want to, you can, but um, I, I wouldn't really go with this that often. Okay, I'm going to delete the stroke and I'm going to move on to the last option. So yes, for the last option, what we're going to do is we're going to press add modifier and we're going to go to generate and go to solidify and then just increase the thickness. Now you want to increase it so it kind of blows up a little bit like it kind of inflates because <laughs> it's that's how we're going to create like the outline and uh, what, you, what you're going to do is you, next you're going to go to materials go to materials and press plus and new then you want to go to this uh, green dot at the surface and change it to emissions and you can change the color of the outline to whatever you want we'll just make it black for now and you just want to make sure to check this uh, box right here set, uh, saying back face color okay and next let's go back to the solidify modifier and you're going to press um, normals right here and make sure to flip and uh, press flip and high quality and go to materials and press material offset as one now this is actually going to depend on how like where your materials is listed it kind of lists from the top to bottom so like for example this is like one and it, well this is like zero and this is one so if you add like another one and move it here it wouldn't work because it's zero one two so if it you if you were in this case you would have to go over here and change the offset to two for it to work so overall yeah that's it let me switch this back to one and you can like lower the thickness and stuff if you want as you can see this is pretty good I'm not gonna lie um there might be some issues in cases like this at the nose and stuff it might be a little weird if you're using it in a complex like kind of m model like if you have a lot of overlapping stuff and stuff um it's gonna be weird i think probably hold on let me lower the thickness a bit more but this is pretty much the most popular option for the outlines so yeah now there might be another case where you have like a object that just just like uses one material and has a texture like my mr tomato model right here uh he only got like one material like this and you can't really set it up as how we set it up earlier like if you just go over here and just add a shader to rgb and then you just add a color ramp and then you could just kind of switch it to constant and stuff. First of all, um, Mr. Tomato will now be black and white. So um, to fix this issue, we need to instead mix the color ramp properties of the shader or so. And we, we got to mix it with the texture that we have right here, which is, which is the texture for the uh, Mr. Tomato. Now it's simple. Like my friend likes to say, it's simple. <laughs> you just uh, press Shift A and search and add a mix shader. Uh, mix. It's just mix. My bad. And you want to switch from float to color. And you can just plug this in between. 
let's smooth this down to B and we're gonna plug color into A. What this does is it just mix these two uh, properties, a color ramp kind of thing and a base color type, type of thing. But there are multiple ways you can mix something. You can just mix it together or you can like add them or multiply them. Basically there's many ways you can do it. And what we're looking for is multiply right here. So it kind of multiplies this kind of effect onto our Mr. Tomato. So instead of like a color setup, you can just use like a black and white gray gradient gradient oh, yeah gradient for the thing as you can see which is pretty good as you can see. Uh, let's see. So there we go. Let's go to here. Okay, that's good. And finally, you, you can give him a outline if you want. Now, I feel like because of his teeth and the model is kind of weird like this, you might run into issues with the outline. So you might want to keep on keep a lookout for some things like that when you're <laughs> giving something a outline. But overall, that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'm kind of going back to more of the short formula and uh, I hope you guys have a good week, I guess, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.